Hey guys, this portion of the video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service that offers weekly shipment of recipes and groceries that allow you to make the most delicious and easy meals at home. Each box is packed with fresh, pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door. Choose from 50 tasty menu and market items every week, including vegetarian, fit and wholesome, pescatarian, and gourmet options. With HelloFresh, produce gets to you faster than if you were to buy them in a grocery store. So ingredients are at a peak freshness and flavor are from farm to fridge in under a week. Tonight, I'm cooking bavette steak au poivre and garlic herb shrimp for my mom and I. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table. The prep time for this meal is 5 minutes and the cook time is 35 minutes, providing you with a delicious meal in under an hour. HelloFresh doesn't just solve dinner, they have so many delicious extras to choose from like ready to bake cookies, pre-cooked chicken breast for salads, incredible garlic bread, and more. Everything is customizable, you can easily change your delivery days or skip a week so you're never tied down. Plus, if you need to feed your whole family, they have larger boxes with more meals and more savings. Use my code BICANA16 to get up to 16 free meals plus 3 free gifts including free shipping on your first order. from you like I used to Welcome back shoppers. Today's special is a buy one get one free on mental breakdowns, overthinking and scrolling on your phone. Hurry over to aisle four for these items and more. Dirty clothes on the ground, I pretend I don't see. Candy wrappers are found between the bed and the sheets. My succulents died a million times, now where do I get my oxygen? Guess I gotta go outside like a normal person I don't wanna give up the spot in my bed Lose all the crazy thoughts in my head But I can't go leaving none in this mess So I said Cleaning up and I'll fall For my life, for my cries on the floor
from Sephora it was about $16 and it comes with removable blades so I think that's great I have three removable blades and if anything I'll just try to figure out the size of it and when I run out I'll go on to Amazon or somewhere else and find like extra um, blades but this one is pretty cool because it's this um silver material I'm not sure completely but the outer parts of it is silver and it's heavy it has some weight to it so it feels really professional but before we get into the actual process I'm just going to um, wash my face I have my cleanser from um, the inky list so you guys should know about this already I should know about this this is my top dog I actually just repurchased it as well and I have a skincare video, so if you want to see my skincare routine, I'll pop the video up in the top of the screen. So click on it and feel free to watch and let me know what you think. Tell me, baby, why are we playing games with you? on my face is sensitive but it's not too far off from the skin on my the rest of my body um, and plus we're gonna tone right after so it shouldn't be a problem but you should most likely use a face oil or if you have aloe vera um, anything would slip I saw a video where a young girl she used um hyaluronic hyaluronic acid yeah and that has a lot of slip and it has a lot of moisture too so it's really good for the process girl I'm nervous 
I hope you can see me good because this is a one-time affair. All right, so I think I put a decent amount of oil on my face. The napkin that I actually used to pat my face, um, I'm gonna use it to wipe the hair off. So yeah, let's get on into it guys. Wow, it's sharp, sharp. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna start with. Should I start with my. I'm just gonna start. They said to do light. Light motions. Whoa. Light downward motions. So that's what I'm gonna do. Some people actually pulled their skin taut, so let's try it like that as well. Ooh, it is a bit sharp. So, wow. Let's continue, shall we? sharp if you choose to get this one from Sephora it is very sharp but I trust it more than the other ones only because they said to use something very professional or whatever um but use what you want to use but be very careful when you do I'm gonna use this toner this toner is from Butter. All the links to everything I'm using will be in the description box, so feel free to check out all of those links. I 
done so i overheated my wax i'm waiting for it to cool down and to get a little bit thicker because it's very runny at the moment um but let me show you guys what's going on i know i know crazy i have not waxed in about two months i haven't shaved because i have this belief where for me i'm just not shaving anymore because i hate i hate girl you don't even there's a lot so i have a lot of hair underneath my arm but we're gonna fix that today I prefer to wax because it lasts such a long time versus shaving and I don't get ingrown hair bumps or my armpits aren't as dark um, the last time I did my armpit myself because I've done my Brazilian wax before which I'm gonna do shortly after and I'm also gonna do my belly but I'm only showing you guys my armpits um the last time I did an armpit wax I couldn't even finish because it was so painful but i think i'm more prepared now um some things you'll need baby powder i just got the cvs um the cvs brand it was two dollars and it's very short i can travel with this it, it'll be perfect the next thing um you'll need some gloves especially for me i don't want to mess up my nails that i got done so i got some gloves and i feel like it'll just make everything cleaner and easier and also health wise it's great for you to not have as much like um bacteria especially that you'll be ripping the skin and you're gonna have open wounds so that's great and then you also need some alcohol or the little alcohol wipes this is what i have i'm going to use it to wipe under my armpit which i already used one to get rid of the deodorant so yeah and then you'll need of course your wax this is the wax that i use i was put on to this wax i think i talked about it in another video but i was put on to this wax by lydia dinga and by the full monty both of them have a beautiful seamless bikini lines clean armpits like the whole nine yard so when i saw them both Put up this as their recommendation for waxing which you can find it down in the description box i have the amazon link um i used it for my brazilian a couple years ago like literally four years ago and it was perfect very easy all you do is microwave um it comes with the stick and it also comes with um some wipes that you can use oil like wipes before you wax and then wipes for after you wax and obviously this is what the wax is looking like so i'm going to show you that as well before we jump into it i'm just giving it some time to cool down and get a little bit more tacky so this is what it looks like unfortunately for me it's it's really not hot to the touch and you have these little parts here that you can grip it by if it's too hot for you but i have mine on a piece of cardboard on the bathroom counter because i just don't want it to mess up the place because you know wax removal of subjects and clothes is really hard so that's the last thing i'm going to tell you about get something that you don't mind getting messy um and don't do this on carpet you can definitely do your brazilian laying down but put a t-shirt underneath you or put a towel underneath you and you'll be perfect so since that's over and done with let's jump into the waxing i'm going to check it again yeah it's definitely much let me show you guys before it was way too runny but it's still runny but no it's it's not as bad I'm gonna give it another two minutes um, yeah another two minutes and it should be perfect perfect consistency before it wasn't even it wasn't doing all that it was literally sliding off the stick so this is great and honestly what you can do again to check the temperature of your wax and to see if it's good for you is to just do a test strip and then when you're confident to test it on yourself then do that so my hair grows downwards here and upwards. So I'm gonna have to do four strips. Oh, sweet Jesus. The hair kind of long to enough. 
a wood trim. This is definitely very long, but let's go, baby. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. Let me show you. Look at that. You see how much more is coming on versus before? All right. So I'm going to have to use a mirror, guys. Um, so you probably won't be able to, to see. But I... And I'm going to get some wider sticks tomorrow, but I want to get this, this part out so y'all can see. Oh. Oh, man. Down. So I'm going to rub it down. And we're going to rip up. Guys? kind of have a little lip right there not the best lip but my lip my stick is very clean and neat <sighs> let's stress out i is our stressed out all right let me get this so y'all can get the juice sorry i'm just getting the lip part up whoa i feel it oh god Alright. Oh god guys. Ow. 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 Ah. Oh Jesus. Yeah, this wasn't that dry. This was not the cleanest execution of what I needed. But it don't hurt as much of the guys because the first time I did do it killed me dead. Sorry. On the blood, Jesus. Ooh. Okay, yes. La, the hair too long. The hair too long and this wax is very sticky. My Brazilian, well my, my yeah, my Brazilian hair is shorter, so. Well, you know what I mean when I say Brazilian here. Come on, YouTube, demonetize me. This is what it's looking like. If you think this is gross, then it's just life. But that is definitely disgusting. So we move on.
also considering the fact that I've never fully waxed my armpit before like I've never completed an armpit wax myself I think I deserve an 8.5 out of 10 I duck the 5 8.5 yeah I duck the other points because it's messy this side is messy it's not red it's leftover wax um so tomorrow or in the next vlog I'm gonna show you what my armpits looking like but best believe this is very clean and like I said it's um, leftover wax just look at this side this side was less messy than the other side this is red there is no leftover wax but this has leftover wax so yeah not as bad as I thought and so I'm gonna go cost more but I didn't so I'm very proud of my outcome um, the next time I do it, it will 100% be better and I might even test out some other wax to see what suits me best. But make sure you like, comment and subscribe. what one side is looking like um is this a little cheap alternative it lasts you probably a week and a half two weeks but this lens i should have got some more diversity in the length um so this is what the lens is looking like and they're all one size so like i really should have got some that were longer and some that were shorter because i'm not really seeing much i mean i guess when i lean back now you can see the difference but i don't know do you guys like it i'm gonna get some a wand and brush it out but i think i did a pretty good job on one side so i'm definitely gonna jump into it now and show you what the other side is looking like. So I'm gonna show you my technique or lack thereof. But yeah. Yeah.